blatantly racist quotes. Like, are you going to get a segregated graphic strip next? <laughs> it's accurate, uh, isn't it? It's not segregated. You know, you have integrated, but it's not segregated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cre- it's, um, I know the word. Independent. <laughs> I know the word. Discreet. There we go. Discreet. But, the th- but that's the thing. Why don't you use the copy of the other one? Is it because graphic strips are mainly made in America and they don't want to get the racist undertone? Speaking of undertones, welcome to the As Yet Undecided podcast. And we're not quite back from holidays, but oh well. Yes, but we're still you... recovering from, um, you know, Christmas feasting. Our tummies are still bloated. Yes, and this is the special numbered episode. We're not eating out. No, we re- uh, really no, no, ate. No, no. We ate Chris. Well, no, we really ate out. We just ate Christmas. No, I mean, what number episode is this? It is the... Well, there's two numbers you need to know when it comes to internet memes. Yes. There's 420. Yeah, correct. This is the other one. This is the other one. This is the other one. A.K.A. episode 69. Well, anyway, here's a joke about this. Um, the, the sexual position known as 69 is now 96. Due to the falling economy, the price of eating has gone up. You okay? No, 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 no. It's sort of like, it, it, it is 96 because we, we now realise that the person isn't pregnant and it is growing boobs while the man is going the other way. Yeah. But in saying that... Yeah. For, 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 Just don't get ahead of ourselves. No, 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 no let's not get ahead of ourselves. <laughs> Nevertheless. I'm like, are you okay, Ashley? Now, was it? Just wondering if you got to choke from your laughter. You're getting a bit red there. No, 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 no. no. The redness is from other things. But oh, I it's see. Okay. Okay. But in saying that, um, well. F- from what I hear, you're going to be having a lot of fluids over the next 12 months. Why is that? Because of Christmas presents. Oh uh, yeah, I got, I got so much tea for Christmas. It's not even funny anymore. I mean, like, wait, do people just know me about my tea now and my deer stalker? So, so are you now Yeah. a representative for Dilma? No, I okay. wish I was. <laughs> then I could get, probably get paid or something. Yeah. Where's for you, Ma? As for you, Mike, what did you get? Um, not a lot, really. Well, you did get some hot switch titty. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. Yes, I, I did get one game from Sophie. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And I did get one game from you, too, Undertale. I mean, I've been meaning to get that for ages. I know. It's great, thank you. Yeah, and you weren't the only one that I gave a game to. I gave someone else another game. Oh, did, did you get Cody a game? No. Cody does not have Steam. Who else did you give a game to? Um, I gave Nadia, who just graduated, because we were, we were in the same class as yeah. Martin. Mm-hmm. Um, after the transplant surgery, yeah, she was the one who gave me Stardew Valley. Oh, nice. A.K.A. Farming Cocaine Simulator? 8-Bit Farming Cocaine Simulator, yes. Yes, yes. That damn thing's so addictive. I mean... I think I logged about 200, no, 300 hours out of that. Yeah. So because of that, I did what Sophie would do. Yeah. What would Sophie do? Give a game back? Yeah, but how? Steam. Carry on. Steam sale. Carry on. How would you select the game, Sophie? Wishlist. There we go. Yes. So the game that I gave her was not in the wishlist. Oh, mm. risky. I know. But um, the reason why was because of the wish list. Oh, okay. Um, I'm assuming you've heard of the Darksiders series. Vaguely. Basically, you are one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. Yeah. And you are, it's basically like God of War, but with one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse. God of War, but it's Christian. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, she had Darksiders 2 on her wish list. Oh. And I gave her Darksiders 1. She did not have the first Darksiders? 
Mm, well, she didn't have it on her account or on her wish list. Oh, well, that would be really awkward. What if she had Darksiders 1 on, on another platform and that's why she wanted Darksiders 2? I, I, I was... Uh, 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 the risk reward yeah. um, was there. I mean, I have to be honest with you, um, I did eventually get Watch Dogs 2. Oh, did you? Yeah, but you did not see that on my Steam profile, did you? No. It's it's directly linked to my Ubisoft account. Yes. So imagine if you accidentally got me Watch Dogs 2 on Steam, and I'll be like, I was please, so, please speak that out. I was actually thinking of doing that. Yeah, I'm so glad you end up not getting me Watch Dogs 2. But still, um, L.A. Noir. someone else got me L.A. Noir. Yes. So, I mean, in the end, you managed to get me Undertale, and, and like, I'm very happy for that. Yes, and it was but, me, uh, yeah, but, yeah, you know, because of our Steam links. Yeah. Yeah, I knew that you getting L.A. Noir would be fine. Yeah, so, but um, Watch Dogs 2, unfortunately, that's directly linked to my Steam, uh, to my Ubisoft account, so. But still, if you want to play it, I can give you my details. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, Doesn't need two-factor authentication. Author 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 <laughs> 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 um, but say that this is actually, okay. Yeah. Is this like, the, is this, have you ever received duplicate gifts before? And it's like, no, yeah, no, I guess okay. I like this. Okay. But maybe I should not have emphasized it this much. Now, now, now you know, we've got multiple discussions here now. Yeah. Um, actually, no. No. Actually, no. But in saying that, have you brought multiple versions on different platforms? Of the same game? Yes. Yeah. Um, the Room series by Fireproof Games. I mean, for the Room 1 and Room 2, I have them all on iOS, Android, and Steam. The Room 3, I only have that on Steam and iOS. And the Room 4, only on iOS and Android. Okay. But yeah, that the Room the room series, that's a definite multi-platform buy. <laughs> yeah. Um, one of the ones that I have got recently yeah. is actually a second purchase. Uh, actually, two games Yes. are both secondary purposes. Oh, right. Um, L.A. Noir. Yeah. I had that on Xbox 360. Really? Now that you have it on PC? Yeah. And... Thanks to me. And... Wait. Wait, well, you have it too on your account? No, it's on my... It's on my account. I did not see that. There's something wrong with our Steam link. <laughs> it's on my account. Yeah. But because of our Steam link, you can access it. Yeah, but you probably want, I might want to access my version... Because I've, got, because I've got the gold edition. Well. Well. I am kind of glad that I did that, then. Why is that? I was actually going to gift it to you. Oh, bloody hell. Just get, ask for a refund or something. No, 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 no. Because I never actually completed the game. You never actually completed the game? Hmm. Okay. So, oh well. Um, let's, see how, let's, see how, let's see how the multiple purchases, purchases and um, multiple versions that just screw up our Steam Link. <laughs> and yeah. and Mortal Kombat 9. Mortal Kombat 9. I also had that on um, 316, now I have it on Steam. I see you also want Final Fantasy 15, right, for PC? No. It's Final Fantasy for something. 12? Was it 12? Okay, well, with Final Fantasy I have X, X2, which, which is quite debatable. Yeah, Can but you have one on your wish list for Steam. Uh, Which one is it? It's thirteen too. Thirteen. Okay. Yeah. So I yeah I have thirteen. Yeah. Um, because I I got about halfway through that. Okay. Yeah. Um, fifteen would be nice, but but y you know me and games want to spend like around yeah. about ten dollars per <laughs> game. I know. I mean, I mean, thirty dollars would be my like my my limit yes so so with, with that being said that means like um, i'm often like a generational two behind when it comes to say assassin's creed or bioshock yes. yeah which is <clears> fine <throat> but in saying that yeah. oh man that you you've played one right which one bioshock i've played Infin infinity oh infinite my. oh my mm. i loved infinite okay i know but one oh wow that twist at the end yeah. It, you know, I'm not going to spoil this, but if you've, if you've clocked it, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, let's just say, Seven Iron, that's enough said. Um, um, 
But in saying that, one of the gifts that I did get, and this is part of the discussion. Yeah? Sampler boxes. Ooh. What did you get a sampler box of? Well, well if you don't know, in New Zealand... Yeah? If you're a little... If you're on the low end of the socioeconomic ladder... Yeah? You usually get Griffin sampler boxes. Did any of them contain nuts? No. Good. No, and it's... Um, I think we've talked about in one podcast how... I can tell how old a person is by which biscuit they pick out of the sampler box first. Oh, really? So, um, what I realise now is that they have changed the biscuit variation. So where is it? Where's the sampler box? It's gone. You ate it already? Yep. Wow, okay. But so, what's with the, so what's with the biscuits inside this time? No, Nick, no, no, no well, we, we have to talk about the originals. Okay. And I'm assuming that you know your Griffin's biscuits off the top of your head, right? Right about, yeah. Okay. You have your Krispies. Yeah. You have your Red Wafer. Oh, yes. You have your Toffee Pop. Mm. You have your Shortbread. Oh, classic. You have your Chocolate Thin. Mm. You have your Dark Chocolate Wheaten. Mm. You have your um, Chocolate Chip. Yeah. You have your chit chat yep and you have your cameo cream mm-hmm. now in this year's recipe or uh, iteration sorry yeah they have remo- they've done two things yeah why don't they have removed the cameo cream mm-hmm. for another three chit chats oh yeah and they've also added in hundreds and thousands in that Ooh. mix. Um, usually to, um, probably for the child in us, yeah. would usually go for the hundreds and thousands. Mm. Um, yeah, so I would like to see your take on it. So you see, what, what, what do you think about that? The change in biscuits... I don't mind. Mm. I like biscuits. All yeah. biscuits. All biscuits? Except for the ones with coconut in them. So, so crispy's out? Crispy is definitely out. <coughs> so, in saying that... But you just food corner. Um, now, this is a little bit different from your typical sampler, and in that it's uh, more Japanese. What's with you in the Japanese? Did you just go to the same store and went to a different aisle? No. This is Europeanized Japanese. This is a um, weeaboo. This is weeaboo snacks. So last time, if I remember correctly, yeah, it was the um, chocolate Chocolate. potato chips. Chocolate potato chips. That's genuinely Japanese. But this one is um, weeaboo. This is weeaboo. Weeaboo. Weeaboo snacks. Weeaboo snacks. Yeah, I've got one for you and one for me. Oh, one for you, one for me. Yeah. Have to open that one for. Okay, so. By the looks of things, it just looks like seaweed. This is just roasted seaweed, that's all. Roasted seaweed? Otherwise known as nori, yeah. Does it come with any assortment of herbs and spices? No. L- l- like a garnishing dill? or No. Which, funny enough, so- Sophie forgot what dill was last night. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm too much in the 1% to, know, to remember what dill is. <laughs> Okay, and saying that, because um, the only garnishes that I know yeah. is your dill when you pass. Yeah. What what is, what is your most pretentious garnish that you've had? Well, there's mints, there's is um, it, no, it, dark it, chocolate, there's gold. So, so is I it... I had gold as garnish one time. So, is it... Okay, so is it the after dinner mint or fresh mint, like the leaf, the mint leaf? Okay. Anyway, apparently the seaweed is organic. Whatever that means. What does organic even mean? One thing I did um, watch on the on the interwebs mm-hmm. is um, I forgot what it's called, 
but it is it is the European manatee. Mm-hmm. How they chew up on seagrass. Yeah. And how seagrass is more effective of collecting that carbon dioxide than trees are. Mm-hmm. So I'm thinking like it'd be a great idea to plant some seagrass. Yeah. And afterwards you can pick them up, dry them and eat them as seaweed, right? Yeah. Yeah. Again, you know, I, I, I would prefer this on a um, on a proverbial single bit of rice. Yeah. So, other than keeping yourself hydrated with warm liquids, mm-hmm. what else did you get for Christmas? Ah, a new phone. That's all. Now, I don't know what this phone is. Mm-hmm. Uh, when, when you told me that you got this phone, mm-hmm. I was a little bit scared. Why is that? Well, tell the people what you had first and what you have now. Well, I had an iPhone 6, right? Now I have a uh, Samsung S8. Yes. Yeah. And usually when it comes to that, it is very difficult to go from iOS to, to, to go to a different OS. Not anymore. I found that over the years they've been conversion. Yeah. So I was like, okay, that's why some of the settings have changed now, but really there's not much of a difference anymore. Well, that's good news. Yeah. And yet my, my mother still has her iPhone 6. Really? Yep. Well, good for her. She managed to make it last longer than I did. No, 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 no. Not that. What? Let's just say her provider mm-hmm. sucked her in. Oof. So she can't change her phone? No, 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 no. They sold her the phone after they stopped updating it. They what? Because you, know, the, the, you know, there's a certain, uh, you know, there's, um, but especially with iPhones, yeah, you can't update the OS after a certain point. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Because she was running on um, what's the first ten one? It's just OS ten. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It was like running off of that. Yeah. Yeah. Which I'm kind of like, you can't update your phone now. Because uh, let me tell you, any more updates and that phone tends to run very hot. Yeah. It's designed to run on iOS 10. Yeah, but at the same, yeah, I'm like. Don't bother updating it. It's, it's, I mean, you have to do security patches at all, but on the other hand, so long as your mother practices safe internet pra- banking practices, it's, it's just general safe internet practices, yeah. she should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, well, as if I just found out that the more updates I apply on mm. Apple, the, the hotter my phone gets and the right faster runs out, runs out the battery. I guess all phones are limited shelf lives, I suppose. I mean, to be fair, none of Dad's phones last for more than two years. Mm. Which is actually good for you because um, you have a battery pack. Yeah, I do. Even though I think you use it more infrequently than I would. Yeah, I just only use the battery pack if my phone runs out of juice. Yes. Whereas you use the battery pack despite your phone not running out of juice. Yeah, so it's just like... It's just, it's your, you're using a battery pack as your battery. Yeah. Is that bad for the battery or is it better? Um, at this stage, it doesn't really matter. Um, I am getting to the <coughs> end of the proverbial life, life cycle of the phone. So how old is your phone? Um, it's at least three. Mm. So I got my, my iPhone the same time as you got your me. Yeah. Me. 
Yes. Mizo? Was it? Mizo? No, Mizu. Mizu. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, like, I got September and you were still in Wait. No, I thought you got your meat. I thought you got your Misu. I just finished my third year of law. Right? Yeah, it was, it was like... I just finished, and you got that phone the first year, the first year of my uni? Um... About, just a little bit before. Okay, because I remember when I, remember when I got my iPhone, when I get my phone, so I mean, yeah. because I Because I like to keep track of how long my stuff lasts for. And when there's actually reasonable to ask that for a new one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Dad was like, yeah, it's definitely reasonable to ask for a new one because um, I think that, I think we're getting to the end of its life now. It's getting yeah. a bit dead. Yes. Um. And this, I think this phone has been my, well, I didn't get a phone when I, uh, I didn't get a cell phone until I was 18. Oh, really? I thought when I was 10 years old, um, my first one was a Motorola Flip. A Razor. A, the, was the Razor the... The thin one, yes. The thin one, the, the one that looks more like a rectangle, more like a... Yeah. Okay, well, the yeah, Motorola Razor. Yeah. Because there was another Motorola Flip phone that was, they had a screen in front of it. Yeah. But no, what, what was the other one, the Razor? Yeah. And the, the next one was... um. It was like a Samsung. This one was actually a Samsung touch phone, believe it or not. Okay. Yeah. But it was actually it was like one of the first generation ones, so it was like thick as hell, and the screen was blurry, but hey, it was a smartphone. I could watch YouTube videos of it. So that's a complete miracle. Um, then I got the Samsung S2. Then the Pug phone. Yes. Which was the oh, yeah, phone. that's right. That's right. And the S2, then the Pug phone. That's right, because you let me use the S2 for like a week. Yeah. Um, How's the S2? Like, was it still holding up? Yeah, 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 it was alright. It was yeah. fine. Um, I still have it, actually. For me, <laughs> my parents had, had this had this phone. Yeah? It was a Kaishera, which is, it does not exist now. It's, yeah? Um, Samsung brought it, I think. Oh, yeah? Um... And it had the ability to send texts, yeah. But you could not select um, from your contact list to send them a message. Really? Yeah. What did you have to do if you want to send a text message? You had to write down the number mm-hmm. and then send a new message to that number. And then was it? What if they replied? You can then you can reply back. You can just get a thread going. Yeah. But you have to memorize which numbers which. Well, yeah, if, if only for the first one. Okay. Yeah, um, and that was sort of like y- your first, yeah, my first phone, and it had the extendable antenna. Was that flippy? The partial flippy. Partial flippy, oh yeah. Um, and then I decided to be more pretentious. Yeah? Because this is where the 3310, the OG one. Yeah, the The, the blue Nokia, one. The, the Nokia brick. Yeah, and I actually went for the one above it. Oh, really? Yeah. What made it above it? Colour. Oh, so that was the one first one of colour? Yeah. Oh, nice. Um, um, when you had your flip phone, the, were you able to, like, say, bye, Felicia? Pretty much. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my sister's first phone was a razor. Yeah. She had a pink razor because, of course. Yeah, well, I had a pink razor, too. Yeah. Um... And then that phone broke, and then I had, uh, damn it. Oh, I had a Sony. A Sony? Yeah. Oh, wow. Was that Windows phone? No, no, this was, this was, this had Android 2.1 on it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Actually, I had the Android 2.1 for a while for, for the S2. Yeah. Because the thing was, Dad absolutely refused to update his software, so I had to use Android 2.1 until I could be bothered downloading Samsung Kyle's and then up and then updating these two. Now the funny part about that phone and people would know which one it is. Yeah. Um, it had a RGB backlight. Yeah. On the bottom of the phone. Oh yes. So it was like oh, uh, it's like this, right? 
the screen would come up to there. Yeah. It'll have a backlight, and then it'll have like the rubber thing to secure it. Yeah. So there's a the, so the there's like a boss there's an RGB strip at the bottom. Yeah. And you could change it between like pink, blue, and yellow. So uh, I. I oh? Gimmicky. Gimmicky. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very so gimmicky. Very, very gimmicky. Very yeah. gimmicky. Yeah. Um, and then what did I have before the Mizu one? Damn, I forgot what it was, but never mind. It's not really that important. I mean, I, sh I did see it, right? Yeah, I think you did. Okay, I'm just trying oh, to. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. I had that phone. It was the. The crappy McCrab crap. It's a Spark General. Spark General phone. It's yeah. a. It's a basic bitch. Yeah, pretty much. It's a basic bitch phone, so. Yeah, and it still works. Yeah. And the only reason why I keep it is because of an audiobook that's on there. Oh, really? Yeah. You haven't transferred it to your computer yet? No, d different account. Oh, I see. For the camp. Um, so yeah, that's the only reason why I'm keeping that. Um, and then the Mizu, and then I've got the new 3G Nokia 3310, which I have to top up. <laughs> yeah. Because I haven't actually topped it up yet, but I was given a free um, sim for it. I see. A free Spark sim, so, you know top it up when when I'm in the wilderness before I go into the wilderness yeah um yeah so with that being said why do you have the new brick from Nokia um the reason why I brought it was for um if if, if I was to go somewhere but I didn't want to ruin the Mizu. Oh, I see. So your Mizu is too fancy. It's too pretentious. Yes. So if I went to a Mirai in the middle of nowhere. And the. Um, where, where is it? Um, Viking Moog House. Yes, and, you know, they're still running off um, 3G. Yeah. I might as well just take that phone. Yes. Also lasts longer too. Yeah. Better in the better in the wilderness situation. Yes. And it's actually waterproof. And it actually runs off MP3. Yeah. <laughs> what else do you need in this in this fancy as world? Pretty I mean, much. Do you think phones are getting a little bit too complicated? <laughs> they do several things now. I mean, including how music how how old are you, Sophie? Forty five. No, I'm just asking you. I mean, I'm perfectly fine with my phones, but do you, do you think they're getting too complicated? No. I mean, they're now music players, emails, bombs. Uh, you, well, because I used to, I used to be in the camp where I had a separate phone, I had a separate MP3 player, I had a separate blah blah, and I'm like, this is far better. Like having everything integrated. Yeah. Yeah, I have to this agree with that too. But far better. Yeah. Um, I don't like the, the, the only thing that I will gripe yeah. about. Yeah. Is it's not integrated enough. Some yeah. parts, so, some parts of technology, are not integrated enough, which is due to technology. Yeah. So, such as, which, which, what would you like to see integrated? Um. Well, I would like my phone to be integrated into the computer but because I don't have Android 7 yeah. I can't. Why don't you have Android 7? No, I've got Android 6.1. You can't update it? No. Mizu has not released an update for Android 7? Mm, let, no, it's more of a requirement of the phone, of the hardware. Oh, so your phone really is ending the end of its life. Yeah, 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 exactly. I'll put it this way, Mike. Uh, can you store my phone to me? You have to unplug it first. I'm sorry. No, because that's not your phone. This is my phone. It's a thick boy. Well, it's only thick because of the case. So, anyway. Because um, you'll be running off eight, maybe? 
You won't be, you won't be running off nine. Um, nine is nine is yet to be released, right? Oh yeah, but you know, is it? So the um, Android is eight, just a solid eight. Yeah. So um, Sophie was thinking that she was going to be all fancy dancy with me when she received this phone. No, no, I'm never thinking that. Because she's like, oh, um, can you send me a message? So it can go into my messenger. I lost. Well, thing was, I lost your number in the contacts. Yeah, which is the only bad part between integrating from iOS to Android. Yeah, well, uh, I initially lost it. Then I had to like charge up my phone, charge up this new phone, which I have yet to get a, give a nickname to. Then finally do the smart switch. Then I could finally get all your contacts. Yes. It took it took me long, a lot longer than I thought it would. But anyway, um, do you have what, what would you recommend a nickname for this one? What the hateful eight? No. What, well, before I'll make the point that I was going to make. Yeah? You know you could send text messages from your computer on that phone? How? Phone Companion. Phone Companion. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I'm going to see if that works. And, uh, um, yeah. I wonder if you can actually send text messages from other Samsung devices using this phone. Because Dad's got a tablet, right? The pop... The... the more than likely will be some integration. Yeah. That'll be about it. Um, and what was the point you were trying to make? No, no, because like you being or like, oh, can you message me? Can you, can you message me on on this so I can go through to my phone? Through to my phone. I'm like, you, you you can actually send text using your computer now. Yeah, that'd be super cool. I mean, I I, I have not known that yet, but. Seriously though, um, have you ever tried the Facebook Messenger using SMS on Facebook Messenger? I tried and it failed and I went back. Oh, that sucks. I mean, that's the one bad thing about Android. It's not quite as stable as it should be. It's it's more of sending someone a message yeah. and them not using the correct platform. Yeah. It's more, if I have credit on my phone use text but if there's 3D data yeah if there isn't yeah try and use as least data as possible yeah but um Android will just use whatever is whatever is available at the time yeah with that being said I can send SMSs through through the um messenger app yes yes you can so that's super helpful but um you, you know you there's no sort of rules and preferences for that. No, I found, I found that annoying. Yeah, you, you, you know, that's the reason why I don't integrate that. No. Because it's getting all... That's when, it's, when you're getting into the deep, deep sort of stuff, which is eventual, and I would like it to happen, but it just takes so long at the moment. Yeah. Uh, you know, you'd have to go into the APIs to do all of that. Yep. So, you know, I would lo- I would love for everything to be integrated regardless, like calendars and contacts and all of that sort of jazz, without having to get the app to do it. Yeah, I see. So, you know, if you want... Google Calendar to work on your generic calendar on your phone, mm. you have to download Google Calendar. Which I am like, then what's the point? Do you really have to do that? I thought all you need to do was actually sign in using your Google account. No. You're serious? I'm serious. Bloody hell, Google. Bloody hell, Google. No, no, no. no, no I'm not really blaming Google. Yeah? I'm more blaming Mizu for that. Mizu. Okay. Like, for instance, if I had, you know, it'll be a lot better if I had a Pixel. Yeah? Oh, yeah, because it's an actual Google phone. Yeah, it's an actual Google phone. That being said, Mm -hmm. which phone are you going to get next? I'm actually very much considering a Pixel. Yeah. Very much so. I mean, seriously, if you're going to get an Android phone, you either get a Samsung or a Pixel. Yeah. Because they're they're like, they're the only people who can handle Android properly. Um, Everyone else tries. Yes. 
But they fail some way or another. Um, and I and I probably uh, and I'll probably only get a one. I will not get a two or a three. Yeah. Um. Probably because of you, you know when you're getting towards the twos and the threes, it's gets getting way too pretentious. <laughs> um, if I had a basic two, yeah. Yeah, if the price is right, I'll get it. I mean, what you should do is when you get the basic two, you should get a phone case with a monocle on it. <laughs> because of course. Yeah. Because of course. No, no, well, well, Pretentious, mate. No, no. Well, if it was me, mm -hmm. I would actually have a have a phone case with Clippy in the back. Oh, but Clippy's wearing the monocle. Yes. You can totally do that because um, you have people making like custom phone cases left, right, and center nowadays. Yeah, and I'm like, you, you know, something that is modern but still pretentious at the same time. Yeah. So I'm like, Clippy. Brilliant. <laughs> or you, you know, there was back in not was it Word ninety eight, I think. Mm -hmm. You could actually select a different thing. Like one of them was a dog and there was a cat. One of them was Earth. My favourite one was Earth. Yeah, oh, Earth, yes. But in saying that... Must we go? Must we go? We have to go. Welcome. This is the end of the podcast, the Asia Undecided podcast. The one that, in which we eat out. Yes. We, we will actually probably go out for dinner after this. No, we're not. No. I, I can't. You can't? No, I can't. Okay. You can contact Sophie on Sophie9709, except for Instagram. That's still the Russian Sophie, I believe? Yeah. You can contact me well, on... Well, no. Maybe it's not Russian Sophie. It was definitely Slavic Sophie. Slavic Sophie? It's Slavic Sophie. I've been calling her Russian Sophie for so long, but at the end of the day, it could easily be just be a Slavic. Yeah, so you Slav, you, you lose? Yes. Yes. You can you, you contact me on the Manus, T H E M A R N U S, and you can contact at uh, Asia Undecided Podcast at A Y U Podcast. At A Y U Podcast at A Y U Podcast, and our email is Asia Undecided Podcast at gmail dot com. One of these days, we have to invite Slavic Sophie onto this podcast. It's hilarious. Yes, it is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs>